what up, players? Subscribe! What up, players? Wobba stay up in this mood. <laughs> Today we're gonna paint up a Chaos Herald of Zinch on disc. Um, if you've seen my other video, you'll know that I magnetized him so he could be taken off to paint the the disc, and that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna start with the disc because that is probably gonna be, you know, it should be dry by the time by the time we're done painting the actual herald itself. So so what we're gonna do is I, I like working from the bottom up. Basically, is what I'm saying. So we're going to paint. Do the first thing is that we're gonna paint the the, the disc. Abidi abidi abidi. Hot turquoise, <clears throat> and we are going to paint it everywhere, all over except for the horns. The horns we're going to paint a bone color, but everything else, ex we are also not going to paint the eyeballs. The actual disc has eyeballs peeking out from it, so we're not going to paint those. But we are going to paint like these little tail flames and the disc itself and the symbol of Zinch. Leave the leave the eyeball unpainted for that as well. And if you haven't seen my last video, you'll notice that the model has already been primed white. White is a better color to undercoat your models if you're if you haven't uh, learned that if you're going to paint your model bright colors like that, then white is a better color to undercoat your model with. <clears throat> and the colors just pop better because the shadows aren't all dark. Say if you are going to paint or undercoat the model with black. Okay, so hot turquoise all over except for the bones and the eyeballs and we'll show you what that looks like when we get back. You also don't want to cover the magnets with any paint because that is where your, uh, where your magnets are going to attach to the herald. Okay, all right. Rock on, dude. All right. The next thing we're gonna do is you'll notice that I didn't paint the eye because I'd like to paint. Sorry about that, Harold. I decided to name the Harold Harold, and I put him put him up here so that he can watch me pimp his ride. <clears throat> because I'm planning on doing the eye to make it look very human with human skin tones and make the eye inside look just kind of like it's um, you know flesh colored like a like a human human's eye amidst all this other chaos going on so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna paint the horns and the three horns in the front we're going to base coat with deneb stone and I might as well give you the other step too so that I can do that and save a little bit of time you're gonna paint the eyeballs all around the rims of the of the disc. <clears throat> You're gonna paint all the eyeballs yellow, as well as the ring around the eye in the symbol. We're gonna paint that yellow because we are going to use that as the base color for the gold. We're gonna paint the ring gold, and we need a good strong yellowish color. So, Talcept Ochre. Or Ian and Dark Sun. Both of those are really strong yellow colors, and it's really up to you how bright you want the eyeballs to stand out. <clears throat> but basically, you're gonna paint either of those two colors into the eyeballs. Okay, so we'll see you when that's done. Stop texting me! Okay, so we've painted in the horns with Deneb Stone and the eyeballs. Oh no, Harold fell down. My Harold of Zinch. Stay right there, Harold. You gotta watch and make sure I'm doing all this correct for you. <coughs> Pimp your ride. Okay, so now we're gonna paint over this <coughs> yellow symbol. We're gonna paint over with shining gold. And inside the eye, or outside the eye, the skin part, we're gonna paint Talern Flesh. So shining gold over the crest and Talarn flesh on the inside part. Okay, we'll see you when that's done. 
Okay, so next what we're going to do is we are going to paint in the center of the eyeball with black and then we're going to pick out the eyeball itself. So we're going to paint the eyeball, everything inside the eye, we're going to paint it black and then we're going to paint the eyeball itself white, just kind of like how you would do a normal eye, paint the inside black and then paint the eyeball itself white. We're also going to paint, <coughs> we're going to put washes on the on the disc and we're not going to touch the symbol because the symbol we're going to make a different color eventually but on all the rest of the hawk turquoise even on the shiitake mushroom side you're going to paint with a sermon blue you're going to wash with a sermon blue and you're going to wash the horns with devlin mud as well as the gold okay so devlin mud on the horns and the gold a sermon blue on everything except for the zinch symbol and we're going to paint in the eyeball with black and then white. Alright, we'll see when that's done. Alright, so a sermon blue and Devlin mud, if you are a new painter, are washes that Games Workshop sells. Here's what they look like, they've got black lids. <coughs> We're gonna add another wash now. The Ogren flesh is gonna go on top of the Talern flesh in the eye or around the eye inside the little golden symbol. Okay, <clears throat> and we're also going to paint the Zinch symbol in a darker blue at this time. And the blue that I'm going to use is, if you take a look at, let me show you the box art that we're going for. It looks like a very, stop texting me, <clears throat> dark, almost um, purpley blue for the Zinch symbol. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use Necron Abyss, which is a base color, a foundation color. And we're also going to build up Necron Abyss from the back of these tentacles, or shall we say zinchicles, on the back. And that way we'll have two unifying colors that are deeper and more purple than what is going to be our flying base. Okay, so <clears throat> again, that is Necron Abyss on the symbol in the center all up there and down here, as well as at the edges of the zinchicles coming from the back of the disc. Okay, and I, oh, I also forgot to do what I said in my last step I would, which is to paint the eyeball pupil, or the, the eyeball itself painted white, skull white, so I'm going to do that as well. Okay, uh, one more step you want to do before you forget is you want to start downloading the Space Marine demo for PS3 or Xbox or PC. Just have that going off in the back so it doesn't distract you. Single player demo now available for download so you want to make sure you get that started. Alright and that's it so we'll see you back when that step is done. Okay gang so the last step we're gonna do is one thing you'll notice is that I painted in all the little snake eye slits for the yellow eyes on the disc. So go ahead and do that. And the last thing we're going to do now is we're going to highlight our disc. So the Hawk Turquoise for the blue and for the Necron Abyss you can either use Regal Blue for the, the fish scales or if you want to use a little bit of ice blue mixed with hawk turquoise to set the scales apart you could do that as well I think ice blue is also going to work on the hawk turquoise this uh, the disc itself so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use hawk turquoise and then highlight up with ice blue on the edges and then I'm going to probably use regal blue for the the symbol to make the scales look a little bit differently I'm also going to highlight up a little bit with denim stone stop text messaging me Deneb stone on the horns on the front and that'll just make them look nice and nice and clean except for the shadows in the near the base. Okay. So uh, and also a little bit of talon flesh for the eyeball in the symbol for Zinch's all-seeing eye would be great. And some shining gold on the symbol. If you feel that the symbol got a little bit dirtied up with the Devlin Brown, a little bit too much. Okay, so we'll see you when that's done at the and that's going to be the end of the disc part of the tutorial. So we'll see you when that's finished.
All right, players. So here's my finished disc. As you could tell, I feathered in the ice blue, added in some skull white, and it made it look like waves, I guess. Or, uh, yeah, very aquatic. So from far away, from farther away, that's the effect you have on the table, which I kind of like. It makes it seem like it's a nebulous, flowing, uh, just just an, like really aquatic. Which, which I think is interesting, especially because the scales... I know Zinch is really um, associated with birds, like <clears throat> with the beaks on the horrors and the Lord of Change with the feathered wings, but the fact that it's got these scales and it's got this fishy looking, uh, just very curvy symbol, uh, I think this was a good choice to go with. So. Things that I've done differently than GW paint scheme is I made the flesh on the inside human colored to kind of look like like Zine just peeking through a little peephole. And I don't know how that's going to affect Harold when I put him all painted up onto the disc, but but I'm going to save the Warboss painting tutorial on Harold for the next video because I think there's so much in this video and just getting the disc up to this point. So I'm going to put the disc up now and then we'll get back to um, the second part of this video where I'm going to show you how to paint Harold, the Herald of Zinch. Let's put him on so he can ride his little disc for a while. Alright. Um, like I said, I've got magnets on the bottom of his feet and in these two places that I didn't cover with the paint. <clears throat> and, um, and when I do my Warboss tutorial on how to paint Harold, I'm also going to show you how I plan on doing the object source lighting to make it look like there's a glowing blue light underneath the disc that's illuminating the ground as it's passing over. So I've been looking up some tutorials online on, on how I think I'll best be able to do that and we'll see how it looks in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. Please leave me some comments and uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate all the support and the feedback that you guys give me and uh, I can't wait to get done with the second part of this video. Laters!